on the iPad, we have the default browser, which is Safari, which is right here on my screen. It might be in another spot on yours. And Safari is really nice. We do have lots of tabs. We have the ability of uh, creating bookmarks, which you see here. But every once in a while, you may want to try out a separate browser. There are several of them in the App Store. So let's go ahead and let's find one. We're going to come up here to search. And I'm just going to type in Opera. Now, Opera is a really good browser. It's fast, it's quick, um, and easy to use. So right here, Opera Mini Web Browser. And this is a free application. So I can tap Free and install app. And then it would go ahead and prompt me for my password. Now, if you're not sure what, uh, what browser you want to install, you can go ahead and just type in browser and tap search. And you may get some applications that specifically have browser in their name, but you'll also get ones that uh, fit the category of browser. Another good browser is the Skyfire web browser. Now the reason that I like this is just like uh, Opera and Safari, it's pretty easy to use, but Skyfire will also work with some Flash video websites. So you can see here, uh, it does not support all Flash websites and games, but it does support Flash video. So websites like uh, you know, Vimeo and YouTube that normally come in on the iPad will still come in, but other websites like maybe um, websites that don't support video for the iPad that just have it through Flash, this is a really good alternative. It's only $5 and you can go ahead and get that. There are other great browsers like the iSwifter web browser and other ones like Opera, but uh, you go ahead and take your pick. This is your iPad, you should personalize it however you want, and having choice of a browser is a really good thing.